Hello and good afternoon. I am so extremely grateful, excited, and proud to be presented with this award here today. My journey, it's been rough, and it's one that I will absolutely do over and over again. I'd like to share with all of you here the story of my journey. In high school, I was involved in a magnet program for early childhood education. I earned my CDA and attended a few courses at my community college. I was intrigued, yet had little desire to pursue this field in particular. A couple of years later, I moved back home to the Big Apple. And a year later, I came across a job that will forever impact my life. In Washington Heights, I was honored to work as an assistant teacher to children with autism. I would found what I was looking for. It was one problem. Out of state tuition was just astronomical. I can't remember the exact number, but when you're working two jobs and barely getting by, the idea of working over more money was overwhelming. I decided to move back to Florida. And as I was waiting for my two years of residency, I became a flight attendant. And those two years turned into 10. And within those 10 years, I had my biggest blessing, my son. And let me tell you, time really does fly. February of 2020, yes, one year we all want to forget but 2020 was the year that made me realize that my job was not a guarantee COVID-19 made the world stop flight attendants were losing their jobs after 20 years of service at other airlines people everywhere stopped traveling and started working from home my company began to furlough I was one of them luckily I had applied to start school before the pandemic so now was my time to anchor down and truly focus on my education full time. I enrolled into Valencia College and got to study in. I was able to attend for the low, low price of free, which is obviously better than cheap. But this one course, new student experience helped me fine tune my educational and career goals. I realized that I wanted to focus on exceptional student education. I loved what I was doing in New York. But I wanted to be the one to come up with the lesson plans and I wanted to have the classroom set up my way and I wanted to have it set up the way I saw fit and I wanted to find the best way to reach my kids. Valencia didn't offer this area of study so I had to transfer to UCF and from there I was able to reach, uh, receive my bachelor's degree in exceptional student education under a TEACH grant and continue with my master's at the same school. I was still working full-time as a flight attendant, a full-time mom, and studying. There are times that I really wanted to give up. But then I looked at my son, and I did it. After my bachelor's, I began to teach. I was, I was so happy. Luckily, I was able to get some of my master's paid for while I worked for the public school. I know some of you may think that I'm going to be crazy for getting rid of the flight attendant gig. But my son was my biggest motivating factor. Traveling for work 15 days out of the month is fun. But it's only when you're single. Who's going to watch your kid when there's a delay or a cancellation? Plus, while I was home for a year because of COVID, it made me realize just how much I wanted to come home every single day. As a single mom, I knew that I had to change this lifestyle. And I needed to find what brought me joy. I started to teach. Not only do I have my students now, I have my son. And they have taught me so much more than I've shown them. I'm shaping young minds for the future. And I'm so grateful for each and every parent and student that has let me into their lives. I want to thank all of you here today that brought me here to receive this award and I'm so proud of the process and every step of the way that has brought me here. And if I could do it, anyone can do it. And this moment couldn't happen without any of you here. Thank you.